first thing I would do is meet as many people as possible. This is a new experience. You're in a new environment. Talk to as many people, see who you can meet. You'll never know who you'll run into. The first day was sponsorship. We had recruiters, you had the opportunity to talk to them, um, which, uh, which was also beneficial because like, I also got to write letters to like companies like Microsoft and Google. Having a good balance of like somebody who does back end and somebody does front end, someone that does full stack, somebody that you know really helps the team out. So it kind of allows you to each do different tasks that can then come together and build a web app with the back ends, with the different uh, API integrations, integrates into the entire project. So in a hackathon, pretty much anything is fair game. Um, we use we've used like other people's code and stuff, changed it to. Uh, fit our implementation using APIs, using libraries that speed things up, using frameworks that speed things up. We used Streamlit on ours to make our website, and it was amazing. It did the graphs for us. It, uh, we didn't have to spend a lot of time on front end, which was good because the back end is very complicated. The most important thing is communication, so please just communicate with your team. Um, try to stay in track. Be honest with them. If you don't know what you're doing, tell them about it. You only have 48 hours. You have to move quick, you have to burn things quick, you have to create things quick. Make sure you eat because it's a lot of brain power and thinking that you have to do. Uh, you want to sleep as well. I know a lot of people, they pull all-nighters like the entire day. I don't recommend that because eventually you're just going to crash. At the most crucial part, you're going to make an error. To have an effective pitch, you got to make sure you have an effective demo. If you're convinced that what you built is effective, then it's gonna be convincing to whoever you're pitching it to. So I think that's the most important part, the demo itself. Do a project that you actually like and you actually want to do that might benefit you or people you know. So for me, I try to like focus on making every project like super personalized to my experience, my family, my friends, my community, because then when I'm doing it, like I actually love doing it and you see the passion in the final product. It's so much more obvious.